Hello, everyone. On this episode of Kindred Spirits, Golf Games. While the origins of golf are murky at best, it is agreed that modern golf began in 15th century Scotland. For centuries, this game has been the arena of the wealthy and affluent, since most people could barely afford to eat and sleep with the duties of staying alive. Modern technology has increased abundance for many, and with this came a rise in popularity with casual golfing for the masses. Towards the end of the 20th century, science once again pushed the boundaries of availability, and some clever individuals created a way of moving golf to the realm of the digital. Today, we explore some of the first console games of golf. Developed and published by Atari Incorporated for the Atari VSC in 1980, golf is one of the first ever attempts at digitizing the game of golf for console play. Golf is a simple, primitive golf game. It has nine holes of various designs with sand traps, trees, and other obstacles to overcome. Gameplay is utterly basic with very little control. The player simply stands to the left or right of the ball, holds the button until the desired strength is set, releases the button, then hopes to hell the ball goes anywhere useful. Ball motion is guided by the most trivial of math. The outside perimeter is a functional part of the game field, but for some reason the designer decided to make the ball and border the same color, making the difficulty of finding and moving the ball back to the hole a legendary task. The goal is to complete all nine holes with the lowest total hits possible. Graphics were common for the Atari at the time, with only a few colors and giant Lego-like pixels. Sounds are truly basic. There is no stage music. Ball hits and ball and hole goal are the majority of sounds, making most of the gameplay a silent experience. While barely qualifying as a golf game, it's still worth a play or two, as it will give someone a sense of just how far consoles have progressed since their inception. Mean 18, originally developed by Accolade in 1986 and released for the Atari 7800 in 1989, gameplay is fairly complex, with a putt strength bar that is challenging the master. Strength is chosen by how high the player lets the meter move up before pressing the button. Direction is chosen by how close the player clicks the button as it approaches the first white line on the meter. Above the line, the ball flies to the left. Below the line, the ball flies to the right. Terrain must be considered to achieve best results. Balls can hit trees and sand pits, while water obstacles simply destroy the ball with a zesty sound effect. Putts are made by first selecting direction, considering the color of green you are on, referring to the distance meter, and trying to tap the controller button twice, once for strength and once for direction. Sound effects are basic, with only a handful of sounds to represent certain actions. There is no level or menu music. The game has a full 18 holes. Developed and published by Nintendo in 1991 for the NES, this is the most technically complete golf console game reviewed, with total control of the swing, hit position, club selection, putting, and more. While most games feature a vertical swing bar, this game bucks the trend with a horizontal bar, giving the player a moment of relearning to get back into the game. Each golf green offers a variety of novel challenges, requiring the player to learn their equipment and adapt to the situation. Direction of putt is easy to achieve with a simple pointer, while challenge is maintained with strike timing. Stage music is upbeat. However, it can be a bit distracting when cutting in and out during putts, and can be a bit monotonous over time. There are options for almost every action in the game, allowing the player a real simulated golf experience. Kudos to Nintendo. PGA Tour Golf was developed by Sterling Silver Software and initially released for MS-DOS in 1990. It was picked up by Electronic Arts, who released the game for the Amiga and Sega Genesis in 1991, followed by the Super Nintendo in 1992. Gameplay is comprehensive. There are a few 18-hole courses to choose from, 
and multiplayer mode is well thought out. The standard putt bar is incorporated using the NES style horizontal design. Players can choose the club to use for each putt, giving flexibility to each shot. However, there is little control of the direction of the putt, as one has to time the strike with machine precision to have any hope of left or right ball flight. Game scoring is very detailed, giving a player the sense of being involved in an actual golf tournament. Playing PGA Golf Tour is likely the closest to real golf one will have access to on the SNES. Graphics are by far the most complicated of all the games reviewed, with an almost 3D game engine reminiscent of many arcade games. Trees look like trees, the grass has varying colors to denote types of turf, and sand traps are distinct. The player avatar is richly detailed. Oddly enough, the least graphically competent object is the ball itself, shown mostly as a star of pixels. Sound effects are complex enough to give a satisfying golf experience. PGA Tour Golf is a recommended game for anyone who really wants a true golf tournament experience. Zany Golf was developed by Sandcastle Productions and published by Electronic Arts in 1988. Also known as Will Harvey's Zany Golf, originally written for the Apple II GS and ported to Amiga, Atari ST, and MS-DOS, it was finally released for the Sega Genesis in 1990. Gameplay is rather unique as it sports a 3D asymmetric viewpoint, which is much more common for side-scrolling RPG console and computer games. There is no traditional putt controls or even a golf club. Putts are made by simply dragging the cursor from the ball to a desired distance behind the ball, then releasing the button and screaming at the goblins running the game code. To increase the chance of success, the player must laboriously scan the screen using the D-pad and commit all of the obstacles to memory, as very little of the putting green is visible at one time. Timing is critical. There are a host of challenges to overcome, such as walls that move on a timer, fans that push the ball around, and even giant hamburgers that hop. Yes, hopping hamburgers. The greatest challenge, however, is the way the game keeps score. Quarter-munching arcade designers take note right now. You begin the game with four strokes. Each time you miss, you lose a stroke. Each time you win, you gain three strokes. If you hit a zero at any point, the game is over. There are no extra lives, no save points, nothing. One has a better chance of surviving naked in Siberia during winter. Graphics are a mixed bag, combining rudimentary sprites with a simple color palette. The genius of the game is how little the graphics matter. Within minutes, a player will find themselves so overwhelmed with frustration and intense level music that they won't care how it looks. We dare you to try Zany Golf. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to this channel. Every click helps. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Releases the button then hopes to hell the ball goes away. <laughs> the ball goes away.